It is a great honor to welcome you to the 2015 annual EDA conference. Political will must be underpinned by action. It needs to become so, to be part of our DNA. As you know, the agency is at the service of the member states. I have personally visited capitals during my first three months in the job. I want to reconnect the agency with its shareholders, the member states. We believe that EU must be able to provide its own security, and we believe that EU should foster international peace and stability. And that means having a broad, strong, competitive European defense industrial base. Within next year, Commission's work program, the Commission announced a European Defence Action Plan. This gives the clear message that defence will continue to be a top priority for the Commission and that, as the title of the conference says, the European defence matters. I don't think we need another wake-up call, but I'm convinced that if you want to protect your sovereignty through military means, that the only way to do it is uh, by cooperating. I mean, the challenges and threat, they're by definition cross-border, so cross-border cooperation is the only way to face up to the challenges. We need to establish a real European market for defense. We need to put in place measures to foster cooperation across the industry. We need to put in place an environment which allows industry to consolidate and to establish a real European capability joint across different member states. Increase defense budgets, uh, refresh the European security strategy and based on this formulate European defense ambitions. Spend 2% of the GDP, this will create capabilities. Capabilities are related with the level of ambition. This will uh, help the CSDP and finally we will have the perfect global security strategy is what we want. We should stop making military investments in splendid national isolation. That is the most important on the short term. Um, and once a member state participates in a project, please live up to your promises. Otherwise we can simply forget about it. After the tragic Paris attacks, it is therefore high time to drastically increase our commitment to European defence while urgently enhancing the commonality in the European Union CSDP. What happened in Paris is obviously a matter of security. The threat posed by terrorists of all kinds is a matter of security and defence. And all of you in the defense community will agree with me when I say we must not and cannot act without a rational strategy, a vision on what we want to achieve and how we want to get there. Let me be clear. A strong and competitive European defense and technological industry base is a sine qua non for us. There can be no security without defense, and there cannot be defense without capabilities, and there cannot be capabilities without industry. We must spend better, for sure, but we also must spend enough in order to have this better spending effective. More efficient use of the defence expenditure is precisely why the European Defence Agency plays such a crucial role. Its mission is to help reduce the long-standing fragmentation of Europe's defence sector and to deepen European defence cooperation. It allows Member States to acquire together what is out of reach individually. Europe's defense and security industry. You are already among the most advanced and most competitive industries in the world. Both Federica and I are determined that it stays that way. Close cooperation between NATO and the European Union isn't just something we should do. It is something we must do. For we share more than the same members and the same people. We share the same values, a commitment to freedom and democracy, to human rights and the rule of law. That is why we work together, and that is why we must now take our cooperation to the next level. Not just side by side, but also hand in hand. R&T should be capability-driven. 
And yeah. if they are not capability driven, we are just making our our tea for the sake of making our tea, which is not an objective in itself. So we have to pave the way for cooperative program. And we know that the success of cooperation is to a large extent due to the ability to have a convergence very early in the process in terms of operational requirements, but also in terms of technology. The more we could do collectively, and certainly this is the case for, for the industry, to enforce EDA, to work with EDA, to support EDA development along these three missions is uh, of tremendous importance for the development of the defense industry and the military capabilities in Europe. What is more needed here is political leadership, and that means a tremendous uh, job falls on the shoulders of uh, Federica Mogherini as I uh, representative and we in the parliament will support her uh, and the commission uh, with, uh, Mr. Juncker uh, to actually make member states move and use the opportunities that are there in the, in the different programs to actually have this synergetic approach. An indirect way to foster and to speed up things. And this is deployment, operationalizing of the EU battle groups in peace enforcement. Why? Can you imagine a commander of EU battle group somewhere in the world having 13 types of guns, 20 types of jeeps yeah. and vehicles? This will foster European unification in defense. If Europe does not come together for more security and defense cooperation, then when? When? My, my priority will be at the place where I am, on the side of Jean-Claude Juncker, to convince um, the member states first, with the help and the support of EDA, uh, Roré, the support of the parliament, that the member states need to work on a white book, first of all, themselves, with the support of all the other institutions. I think we started off the day with a clear picture that the terrible acts that have happened in, in Paris should help us to move defense forward, as somebody said today, as a catalyst for Europe. EDA will continue to work to mobilize member states' political will. Political will not only for capabilities that might be useful for CSTP, but the full spectrum. Thank you.